Mark Yad Audio. What's up, guys? Just messing around. This is the applied acoustic strum guitar. I really like this riff. I like the plug-in. The thing I don't like about it is it doesn't track like in the middle. It loses timing. So when you're editing, you gotta go back to the beginning, which is, it just encourages you to bounce off audio tracks like eight bars at a time, you know, and work on this track in chunks of audio when you have a plugin that is going to behave like that. Sounds good though. For instance, when I'm when I'm happy with this first part, I will definitely make sure I'm really happy or sufficiently happy and then bounce it off into audio and you know complete the song with those audio tracks and when I'm done uh, take a final listen to what I have with the audio tracks and decide if anything should be switched out or something just loses it at that point anyways so you, uh, I think I want some uh, what do I hear what do you hear I need like a, an organ or like an EP I'm thinking an organ tell you what I have been having more fun Last couple days, I've been having more fun this year. Um, that's not what I'm trying to do.
I've just been really enjoying a little background here. Uh, I got super into digital audio recording in like the late when was it late nineties, just right when it was right when it was uh, just uh, coming out. Most computers didn't really even um, have the power to do, you know, your, mo your average consumer computer didn't have the power to really do many tracks. And, uh, you know, we were using, what was it, Pro Audio 7 or something like that? Oh, well, it looped and it and sync. At least I think in loop well. Just don't stop it as long as it keeps going. Anyways, the plugins back there and you know we didn't have key switching or anything like that and they were really expensive you know for what they were at the time. But everything is just and you know once you'd have that order the plugin you couldn't just download it. You had to order it, wait for it to come in the mail, because there were only, you know, Guitar Center only carried like the top names and plugins. You could find some at Guitar Center, go down there and get something. But basically, it was mail order, and you'd wait for this box to come, and it would have your CDs in it. And now the whole game has just changed. And um, I am guilty because, uh, well now, you know, in hindsight I see that uh, I really didn't want to recognize the, uh, the change in the game. And, uh, like, I think I was on Sonar 6 or Sonar 8, Sonar 6. And I was just, you know, feeling safe and happy using that and my current computer setup and the instruments I had. I think I was using Trilogy and first incarnations of uh, Music Labs, uh, real guitar and stuff, and Rapture. And anyway, when that, com when that computer crashed, I really just got kind of jaded about the whole software update game and just kind of walked away from it. But, you know, the game has just changed so much. And the instruments are just so wonderful to work with now. You know, with key switching, and it's just, they're just so well, the layout and the UI, they're, they're not only one, they don't only sound good, but they're just fun. They made them really fun and interactive to play. And uh, it's just really rewarding, because they can do so much, and, you know, everything is just, you have accounts now, and you can just go download stuff. It's just so different. It's just a, it's a total game changer. So, what am I getting at? I'm getting at holding on to things when you shouldn't really be holding on to them. You know what I mean? Uh, I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to give up the old way, but at the same time, giving that up. And moving on was just the best thing ever. Because, uh, because this, this new stuff is just off the hook, man. And I think, I think what I'm getting at is, is I hear people talk about Cakewalk and how it's free now. And, well, I used to have it and I paid... $300 and it had all these 
extra synthesizers like Dimension and Rapture. And, you know, I can empathize with that argument. I'm pissed. They let me down. Because you had everything set up the way you wanted it, and I get it. But, really, those, you know, Rapture and Dimension, they are what they are. And they, some, some of the sounds are good, you know, they have some, some useful things about them. But, in comparison to what's on offer now, and the price, you know, value, I mean, for what you did with Sonar while it was Sonar and the package you got, I think those plugins probably paid for themselves over and over again by now. And compared to Omnisphere and the NI Collection contact players and everything that IK Media and all these, all these Autria and all these wonderful developers, what they have on offer. Really, would you still be using those dinosaur... You know, Cakewalk was never known for VSTs. You know? Get that new Cakewalk. If you ask me, their plugins kind of... As far as instruments, they kind of suck. I mean... I'm not saying as a beginner... You know, it's, it's a wonderful place to start, and that's the beautiful thing about MIDI, is you can upgrade seamlessly because your tracks are still sitting there. Just plug something new into them. You're good to go. So, yeah. Cakewalk's instruments are not, are not on a professional, they're not, you know, they're mid-range. It's nothing you're gonna put on a final, a final press of a, of your of your product or of a of a song. It's nothing I would. They're horrible. <laughs> um, you know, they're they're archaic. They're just they're just old. Sometimes I get you know it's like I get mad at Trillion and compare it to Moto Bass or more recent, and I forget that two trillions. 10, 11 years old now, you know? And it's still a beast. It still holds its own. It's not my favorite to deal with, but uh, it's old. It's old. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, having a free DAW, one thing Cakewalk was known for is building a great workstation and Having a free DAW is one less thing for me to worry about, one less cost, one less upgrade. It has all the functionality that I've come to know and know how to use. It does everything I need it to do. It crashes, but it has autosave. Whatever, I can deal with that. And it's free. The processing facilities are stellar. Uh, MIDI's, you know. I wish it did some things Fruity Loops did as far as MIDI editing, you know, copying. But you know, whatever. We got, I got my little, uh, my little roller brush to roll that shit out with. <laughs> but it is what it is, and it's free. And that means that I can put my money on the sound, on great instruments that breathe life into your mix, yeah. But um, yeah, I'm not looking back. I, the, I, the concept of not having to pay for my workstation is a dream come true. And this is from a guy that got into this when it was just starting. I mean, I remember I had a problem and I was calling, this is back, I think, late 90s, and I was calling around, my audio was stuttering, and I was calling around to all these uh, people that work on computers. Nobody worked on, nobody knew anything about audio on computers. 
They're like, oh, I'll remove a virus, I'll do this, I'll do that. I said, but yeah, my audio is stuttering on my, on my DAW. It's what, what, what? Uh. Anyways, I got really lucky and met a guy who actually knew what he was talking about. And uh, something about my registry. See, it, software just sucked back then. It went, it, there was a registry little something left by Creative Labs. Remember Creative Labs? Sound Blaster? Yeah, well, I had them installed on my little gateway computer at the time. And it left some bullshit in the registry that was interfering with my task cam US 101. <laughs> trip down memory lane. I did, so I didn't even want to... I was so bonded with my US 101. I didn't even want to give that up, really. It was built like a tank. It's like, why? Do, why? It works fine. Because it's time to go now. Here, give it to me, Wirecat. It's time for that to leave. And little did I know. Oh. You know? These guys are not out there trying to rip you off with snake oil and a planned obsolescence and bullshit upgrades. They are viciously trying to make great products. I tell you what, we're not dealing with Apple. Ooh, did I say that? Anyways, these guys, these developers are amazing. It's a good time to be alive. And uh, that's my rant. I think I'll just title this video Rant. Turn off this lib. I'm s I think I know what I want to do now with this loop. Hey, I don't want that. Just turn off. Thank you. You guys ever set a loop? Did you see that? If you haven't set a loop, it's really cool. So this is this is how it would go down. Typically what I would do. I'm going to get this screen so you guys can see it here. is once you got a little rhythm section like that hooked up, I think I can bring it out to about there and you guys can still see it. You go in here and I'm gonna get out a little sample tank action. Cha-cha. And what do I want over this little bad boy? Electric piano? Like a phased EP. Sure doesn't hit very hard. Let's try this. Okay. Mixer. That'll work. So, I don't know if this EP is going to really work for me or not. And I just forgot what key this whole song's in, so it's going to be really complicated. But what you do want to do to figure it out is jam with it. I mean, it's all about playing, right? So what you want to do is line your little line right up with the beginning and just go loop on. And typically it'll just put this, this beginning, pointing that way. And down here is the end pointing this way. And it just remembered what I already did. But you can just drag it out, stop wherever you want. Now you can see here I'm an idiot because I stopped it right in the middle of a clip, which is not really going to be an even jam right there. It's going to be an off, even time format. Okay, here we go. So, at this point, what we can do...
is see how it sounds, see if you like it. Yeah. you guys uh, sample tank four is gonna be in my mailbox pretty fucking quick and that's gonna be sick Nice swell on the organ. Let's see if we just hold a chord like that. I think, a, I think a good investment is in the instruments. And God bless this billionaire son of a Singapore businessman for buying this software and setting the son of a bitch as free as a goose on the south side of the equator. I don't know where the fuck that came from, but it sounds good. I mean, hey, it's my two cents, guys. Peace out. You've been watching Wirecat. Now go slap yourself. <laughs>